What up? It's your boy, fucking, uh... I got a new mic so it doesn't sound like I'm stuck in 2013, isn't that neat? And welcome to the third annual Ray Roni Hunger Games. If you're new here, you don't know what the Hunger Games are. First off, you've been living under a rock your entire life. That was a pop culture phenomenon. What the fuck are you doing with your life? Basically, the Hunger Games is a free-for-all, a killing jamboree where you have to try and be the last one standing. And what I do is I find this uh, ni nice little program by a man called Brant Steele. You can actually find him on brantsteele.net. And I'll actually leave a link to where you can go to do this yourself with your own custom stuff. I found this. I put people's names into it. Subscribers to the channel. Viewers. Friends. Bitches. You know how it is. And from there, I simulate the results. Uh, you all watch. You get frustrated that you fucking died so early on. And uh, yeah, so on and so forth. That's how the cookie fucking crumbles, you know? Bottom line, we're here to watch 24 people enter a free-for-all deathmatch. And we're gonna see one emerge victorious. Before we really get started though, I want to make a special note. I'm doing a series of giveaways, but largely one big giveaway. I'm giving away some download codes for some random albums. They could be pop albums, they could be metalcore albums, they could be post-hardcore, it could be anything. All you need to do to get a free album to you, first five people I should say who do this will get a free album, you need to share this video on a social media platform, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. As long as you share it in some way, shape, or form, it can just be the video itself, you can leave a caption. You will be, if you're one of the first five, I should say, you will be the owner of a new digital album. I got a shit ton sitting in my room. I like to give these out from time to time, you know, to sort of give people some new music and give people a chance to uh, hopefully get me some new followers because uh, I am struggling to say the least. But moving on from that, let's meet the contestants today. In District 1, we actually have the past two winners, Ryan and Hunter. Fun fact, Hunter is actually number one in the Hunger Games standings with five kills and a win to boot. She is number one. She is a sure threat to be reckoned with throughout this entire contest. She's one to keep an eye on. Ryan, not too shabby himself. He's only got one kill, but with one win that does place him very high up in the rankings. District 2, we have myself and Larry. Larry's actually ranked number 7 with two kills himself. We got Michael E. and Brennan C. in District 3. Brianna W. and Summer M. in District 4. Andrew and Autumn in District 5. District, District 6 has Jenna M. and Danielle S. I do believe this is actually the debut for Jenna M., so we'll see what she can do today. Alicia S. and Callum H. for District 7. You got Bradley and Dawson in 8. Steph and Alexander in District 9. District 10 has Enrique and Richard. And District 11 has Devin and Catherine, while District 12 rounds it all out with Dedan. You, you told me how to pronounce your name last time. Yeah, I still fuck it up. Dedan and Sarah. We're just going to call it Dedan because I'm a piece of shit. That's a hefty intro if I do say so myself. So why don't we get into the fucking bloodbath? Let's see if some people kill each other for my entertainment. I'm kind of like a shitty dictator. Isn't it great? Let's fucking go! As the tributes stand on their podiums, the horn sounds. Devin is the first to run away from the cornucopia while Steph breaks Michael's nose for a basket of bread and Sarah also runs away. I rip a mace out of, of the Hunter Hunter's hands. It's Hunter on Hunter action. Alpha versus Beta. Fun fact, I'm the Alpha. She is the Beta. We all know that. Brianna and Catherine copy each other by sh snatching a pair of size each. Jenna runs away from the cornucopia. Smart move for a new debut. While Enrique kills Ryan with a sickle. We have one of the past winners eliminated within the first seconds by Enrique. What a great start for him. Brennan, Richard, Larry, and Summer all run away from the cornucopia. While Bradley grabs a jar of fishing bait. While Andrew gets fishing gear. Good ideas there. Fishing can keep you fed and uh, not hungry and, uh, you know, not fucking dying throughout the entire thing. I had a joke there. The joke got lost, just like the point of this run-on sentence. Let's continue. Alexander receives a trident from inside the cornucopia while Autumn grabs a shield and Didon, Danielle, Dawson, Alicia, and Callum all run away from the cornucopia. We got a death. We got some interesting developments with some noses breaking and some sighs appearing. Let's see if we can get some more death going in there, because, you know, ha <laughs> ha, I want to see people suffer. Let's go. Alexander poisons Dawson's drink. He drinks it and dies. Dawson goes out like a true Canadian sipping some Tim Hortons. There he fucking goes. Enrique receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor, while Catherine stabs Autumn while her back is turned. There goes my best friend. That's fucked up, Catherine. You got me fucked up, but also Autumn, you dumb bitch. You got killed on day one. What's wrong with you? Shit, last time didn't you last until, like, the last day? That's not very poggers at all. Steph shoots a poisonous blow dart into Sarah's neck, slowly killing her. Good shit there. Summer and Brianna hunt for other tributes, while Jenna attacks Alicia, but she manages to escape. And Hunter, too, and Hunter W work together for the day. Now, I might, I might be smoking some crack, but weren't we just fighting each other like two seconds ago? And now we're friends again? I shit. You're my new friend. If you betray me, I'll kill you in your sleep as a ghost. Ooh, spooky spooky. Bradley tends to Callum's wounds while Didon overhears Larry and Andrew talking in the distance, and Devin overhears Danielle and Brendan doing the same. We got two possible alliances here, Andrew and Larry, Danielle and Brendan. You know, I would call myself and the other Hunter an alliance, but uh, 
We know damn well I'm gonna do some stupid shit and fuck things up. And Richard also chases Michael to end of day one. We have four deaths to start things off. We have Ryan, Dawson, Autumn, and Sarah. A former winner. Again, gone already. It's insane. Great stuff to start off the game here as we have Alicia going to sleep, Brianna and Danielle holding hands. Aw, how cute. Richard screams for help. Ah, how terrifying. Dedan, Alexander, and Catherine cheerfully sing songs together, and Summer dies while trying to escape the arena. Good job. You're kind of a dumb bitch. The whole point is to kill each other, and you're, yeah, you're trying to escape? Are you stupid? Get some violence. You know, get some fucking murder porn going for yourself. SMH, my head. Michael, Brendan, myself, and Bradley tell each other ghost stories to lighten the moods while Callum, Jenna, Hunter, too, and Devin sleep in shifts. Devon, Devin, you know, I just realized I should probably asked how you pronounce your name. I always forget how names are pronounced. Or an eyepiece of work. Steph is awoken by nightmares, and Larry stabs Enrique in the back with a the trident. There goes Enrique, the person to shed the first blood, has had his own blood shed. Isn't that a fucking, uh... There's a fancy word for that, but I forgot what the word is, so I'm just gonna insert the word palindrome and hope to god that's what the right word for it is. And Andrew, Andrew is unable to start a fire and sleeps without warmth. Alicia camouflages herself in the bushes while Brendan receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Michael and Steph are working together for the day. Good stuff there. And Hunter 2 forces Devin to kill Jenna or Dedan. There you go, Hunter 2. He's showing off some of that winning edge that got you the W the first time. There you go. Good stuff. I'm proud of you. Catherine, Andrew, and myself hunt for other tributes while Danielle camouflages herself in the bushes. Brianna sprains her ankle while running away from Callum, and Bradley's exploring the arena. Don't make the same mistake that Summer made, otherwise you too will find yourself dead in a pile of your own blood, shit, and tears. Bradley explores the arena, and Alexander makes a wooden spear. Larry tends to Richard's wounds, and that's the end of day two. We got some more fallen tributes. We got Summer... Enrique and Dedan, let's take a look at how things are shaping up so far. District 2, District 3, District 6, District 7, and District 11, along with 9, are all intact right now. District 11's actually got a bit of an edge with one kill each for Devin and Catherine. Not too shabby there. District 12, 12 sorry, excuse me, completely wiped out, completely gone. Fucking insane. Let's go back to the tributes and proceed and get things going again. Hunter, too, sees a fire but stays hidden. Devin steps up camp for the night while Steph, Bradley, and Andrew sleep in shifts, and Larry lets Michael into his shelter. Aw, that's cute. Y'all being nice to each other. Brendan, Alexander, Jenna, and Hunter form a suicide pack, killing themselves. Hey, what the fuck? <laughs> Why do I always die in the most unceremonious way? Shit, that's four people dead. Just like that. Gone. One of these days I'm gonna win these things. It's my own fucking Hunger Games. You'd think I'd be spiteful enough to just replay these things and make myself win, but I'm a nice person. Danielle, Brianna, and Richard unsuccessfully ambush Callum, Alicia, and Catherine, who kill them instead. Holy shit. I'm bad at math, but I think that's seven deaths right there. Oh my god. Y'all are fucking insane. Hunter 2 receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Catherine, Bradley, and Andrew hunt for other tributes. Larry dies from an infection. Too bad, so sad. Alicia thinks about home, and Michael practices his archery. Are you gonna actually put that to use, Michael, or are you gonna die a horrible, painful death? Hopefully you put it to use, otherwise that'd be pretty unceremonious, but kind of funny, so I'll laugh at your death, you know? That, that's just how it goes. And Devon is unable to convince Steph not to kill him, while Callum searches for a water source. Holy piss stains. We have nine cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Brendan, Alexander, Jenna, myself, Danielle, Brianna, Richard, Larry, and Devon. Let's take a look at the... That's not what I wanted to do. Let's go back. I had the wrong fucking button. Let's take another look at the fucking standings here, because holy shit. Districts 2, 4, 6, 10, and 12 are all completely wiped out. District 7 is actually really the one to watch right now. Oh my god, Alicia and Callum both have three kills each. That's fucking nuts to think about. But Catherine, Catherine from District 11. Desiree, you sly dog. You got some real murderous skills this time around. Good for you. You'd be climbing those fucking ranks afterwards. Also, Steph over in District 9 has two kills. Nothing to cough at. Bradley, Andrew, Hunter, and Michael. No kills for any of you. Y'all are really playing it safe. See if we can't fix that and get some violence going in here, you know? Get a little little something something, you know? Give, give, give daddy some violence. Come on, you know you want to. Catherine starts a fire as to start off night three while Alicia quietly hums and Callum receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Steph, ever the defender, is fending away Bradley, Andrew, and Michael away from their fire while Hunter 2 dies from an infection. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now guaranteed a new winner, a third crown is going to be placed upon somebody's head as hunter 2 dies from an infection and here we are at the feast 
this is where things get real fucking crazy. This is where things get unpredictable and wild. This could very much tell us who the winner is now. Let's see. Let's 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 fuck. Let's just fucking go. Let's not waste any time. The Cornucopia is replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the tribute's families. Steph steals Michael's memoirs. Bradley decides not to go to the feast. Catherine accidentally steps on a landmine. There goes Killer. Callum tracks down and kills Andrew. There goes Andrew. And Alicia falls into a frozen lake and drowns. Three kills, or should I say three deaths? I'm I'm kind of stupid. I, don't, I know I know how grammar works. Day four starts off. Callum's constructing a shack, Michael's going hunting, and Bradley's running away from Steph. We got four cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Again, both former winners are gone. I myself am gone. We don't have a single intact district. We have Callum with four kills. He's my current favorite. We have Bradley with none, along with Michael with none, and then Steph with two kills. The final four in the third annual Ray Ronu Hunger Games. Perhaps we can see- why are y'all shit? what? Steph, Cal, and Bradley and Michael sleep in shifts. Excuse me, you're trying- you're supposed to try to kill each other. What the fuck is this? Alright, fuck it, little peace pact. Bradley's picking flowers on day five while Calum tries to spear fish with a trident. Michael's pricked by thorns while picking berries, and Steph tries to sleep through the entire day. Y'all being too peaceful, I want to see some bullshit happen. No can shots can be heard in the distance. Yeah, because nobody fucking died. Calum fends Bradley, Steph, and Michael away from the fire. Okay, it's still kind of on the alliance side, but it's against one person now, so I I'll let that slide. You know, Calum, yeah, hopefully you can defend yourself. It'd be a shame if you got fucking moited by three people. Steph repeatedly stabs Bradley. Bradley to death with size. Holy shit. Well, much, but hey, fuck it. Go off, sis. Callum and Michael split up search resources as one can shock me here in the distance. There goes Bradley. And once again, the, the alliance is here. I can't get over it. Callum, you're just fending these people off from your fire and now you're sleeping with them? What's wrong with you? Well, Callum, Michael, and Steph sleep in shifts. We're down to the final three. This can end any second now, or it could just keep going on for no reason. You know, God hates me. Callum dies from hunger, and Steph throws a knife into Michael's head. That's two out of three deaths. That's two people dead, and that's a new winner. Steph Curtis from District 9 is your winner of the third annual Ray Ronu Hunger Games. Here's the placements. Here's the replays. And that brings an end to things. Ladies and gentlemen, here are your final sayings. I'm going to go put these stats into the Hungry Games rankings. Now get back to you with some updated stat stats. Excuse me. And the outro to this video. Just one second. And there it is. The new standings. Hunter Wilson, Ryan Kubaki, and Steph Curtis. All three winners sitting in a pool looking pretty. Look at them. Look at them. Murderous, aren't they? They're so they're so cool. I love them. Keep, keep Take a look at that, though. Hunter... Catherine, Callum, Alicia, all tied, technically speaking, with for first place with five kills apiece. That is fucking nuts. Stefan Dadon with four kills each isn't anything to cough at either. And rounding out the rest of the top ten, Larry, Bradley, Joe, and Kyla, all three kills. Fun fact, Joe and Kyla didn't actually compete this time. Hopefully they're here next time. You never know. But regardless, that was the third annual Ray Renu Hunger Games. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to be a part of the next Hunger Games, comment down below. Let me know. Verbally assault me. Tell me, hey, fuck ass, I want a part of this. Let me in, bitch. Like I said, if you want to, if you want to win a free digital album download, be one of the first five people to share this video on a social media. Like I said, it can be anything. It can be Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. If you feel swifty, who who knows? Just let me know that you shared it. Let me see it. If you're one of the first five, you get a free download code. Regardless, that was the third annual Hunger Games. I think I already said that. Fuck it. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, subscribe. really helps me out. I'm almost at 200 subscribers after 10 years. It would mean the world to me if I can hit that milestone. And uh, yeah, that has been the Hunger Games. I'll see you next time, next month. But uh, between you and me, if this video can hit, man, let's say 35 views, you'll get another Hunger Games before the month's over. See ya!